Welcome back to another episode on the Hall Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a second look at a remaster of my favorite open world action game, Saints Row the Third Remastered. Seeing a reboot of the brand Saints Row, which was a decent clone of the Grand Theft Auto series, I had to take a look at my favorite installment of the series with Saints Row the Third. Seeing how different the new version looked, I was more enamored on how steps Violation took with the original Saints Row 3 and going all out in comedy and silliness. The Xbox 360 version always had my time as I play the game over and over again. As we revisit the game once again, we take a look at a remastered version on PC with special thanks to Epic Games for the free game. Saints Row the Third Remastered was developed by Spirisoft and released by Deep Silver in 2021. The game is basically the same game as before with all its downloadable content, but upgraded with remodeled assets for the entire game, enhanced lighting with new visuals to boot. This is not just a game that has a higher performance and higher resolution. They completely remade the visuals and will look entirely different from the original. The difference is so large that I felt this upgrade is comparable to the release of Gears of War redone on the Xbox One from the Xbox 360. The enhancements here are truly unexpected and accepted graciously as this makes the game feel the same but very different as you beat the game again just to see how fantastic the changes are in motion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that plane is gonna hit us. Just stay calm and don't freak out. What do you mean don't freak out? Do you have a plan? Yeah, I shoot through the windshield, dive into the plane, and kill that asshole, Philippe. You mean we, right? I promise you won't hold this against me later, sweetie. Wait, what's a fucking ah. horrible idea? Every character model looks much more detailed and realistic. Although still having the cartoon animated appeal, the game screams of next-gen looks and really is almost quite there. The world itself is transformed as well for most sophisticated structures to increase the realism with this new dynamic look overall. The game just looks like a new coat of paint and so much more, especially with the lighting effects. The game is still fun as hell to play and the real reason why you're here. So hard to put the controller down on this one as there are so many things to do and destroy and now the game flat out looks and performs better than ever. The story is your usual out for revenge after ousted from the top spot watching the crown back as Steel Port's number one crime boss. The interaction and characters look and animate better than ever, making the story much more fun to follow. Our organization is expanding into steel water. I am offering you the chance to leverage your assets against your lives. Ladies? You may continue to operate the Saints Altor Media Group as you see fit, in exchange for 66% of your monthly gross revenue. That is before taxes, of course. Listen, you French fuck. Please. I am Belgian. So make yourself a fucking waffle. We're done here. The gameplay here is your average third-person shooter, but really does it very well. Nothing here screams innovation, but everything here screams cool and fun, and it also looks 10 times better than that performs very smoothly at 60 frames per second or more. A truly well-done remastered port that I feel really put other remasters to shame, and is a shining example on how to do one right than other low-budget 
fast cache games by merely changing resolution and performance. A must try, and if an Epic customer, hopefully you can still pick one up for free with a free games a month deal. So that's it for this look at an incredible must play Saints Row the Third Remastered. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.